Step number four, gather data for each step. Data must be gathered to understand the flow of the current system. Specific data necessary will depend upon the structure of the process. This I had explained to you. It's not written as a it's not written as a prescription that these are the data must and should that you have to gather. For example, some people will have a template and say, always calculate cycle time, always write the changeover time, always write the number of shifts, always write the number of people, always write the up times and things like that. No, it's not always. But of course, yes, everywhere cycle time plays an important role because when you come to line balancing, you need to see how the line is balanced. We call that as an Amazon chart line, tag time versus cycle time graph. So cycle time will be important. Change over times, most of the time will be important. Because cy without cycle times, you can't write the value at a time. So cycle time is mandatory. Change over time, most of the time it is important. Cycle time is mandatory, but change over time is, most of the time it is important. But we don't use a change over time in lead time calculation. And all the other information is required for us to take a decision on improving that process. What decision we will take and what projects is something once you explain to you in the future state map, you'll be able to comprehend better. So I have also given some indication of some process parameters. Cycle time, all of us understand. Change over time, all of us understand. Uptime, waste. We will talk about different times because in one of the sessions, they asked me, okay, how many times are there? In fact, uh, uh, I started putting good times, bad times also, challenging times also in some of the things and let's explain all the times. So uh, this is the step number four where we write. Below the process steps, we write all the process parameters. I'm going a little faster in this. I'm going a little faster because we have explained this in the ACME case study and I don't want uh, to spend too much time in explaining each and every so that we'll talk about more valuable things. So critical process data is definitely cycle time, how long the process steps takes. And most of the time people calculate the yield. What is yield? What is the input that we give and what is the output that we give? What is the fallout, right? Input output ratio that they call. Uh, right, uh, sometimes they write the first time, right? Or rolling throughput yield. We'll explain about all that later. But the point here is, um, how much is finally we are getting and how much is the fallout? Is the fallout due to rejections, reverse, all that? If the yield data is there, then we'll be able to discuss on many things like rejection, rework, efficiencies, things like that, so that we can start a Kaizen project. Process data, runtime, change over time, run frequency, these are all commonly gathered so that. When we are talking about improvements, we can look at these process parameters and say, okay, what should be improved? 